I um, stumbled on a book, uh, which was actually a philosophy book. It was a debate between uh, Noam Chomsky, the computational linguist at MIT, and uh, Jean Piaget, who is a cognitive psychologist, uh, you know, sort of uh, psychology of, of, of child development in, uh, in Switzerland. And it was basically a debate between, you know, nature and nurture, where Chomsky arguing for the fact that, you know, language is, has a lot of innate structure and Piaget saying, you know, a lot of it is learned and et cetera. And on the side of Piaget was uh, Seymour Peppert from MIT, who had worked on the perceptron model, uh, one of the first machines capable of learning. And I never heard of the perceptron. And I read this article and say, a machine capable of learning, that sounds wonderful. It was, uh, I started in deep learning to some extent by luck. Um, I did my master's degree at Toronto. And then I took a year off. I was actually working in the financial sector. It's, it's a little bit surprising. Um, and at that time, I wasn't quite sure whether I want to go for my PhD or not. And then something happened, something surprising happened. I was uh, going to work one morning, and I bumped into Jeff Hinton. And Jeff told me, hey, I have this terrific idea. Come to my office, I'll show you. And so we basically worked together, and he started telling me about, you know, these Boltzmann machines and contrastive divergence and some of, uh, some of the tricks, which I didn't at that time quite understand what he was talking about. Uh, but that really, really excited, that was very exciting uh, and, and really excited me. And then basically within three months, uh, I started my PhD with Jeff.